afternoon. I'm Carol Reid, Associate Director, Student Administration at the University, and I would like to warmly welcome you all to the University of Salford graduation ceremony. Graduands, your relationship with the University does not end when you graduate. In fact, it's only just beginning. You are now a member of a global alumni community of over 160,000 graduates. We would love to keep in touch with you so in short, to ensure that you are kept up to date on the latest benefits and services available to you. You can provide your contact details on the form on your seat. All you need to do is fill it in and leave it under your seat where it will be collected after the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, may I ask if you would kindly ensure that your mobile phones are switched off for the duration of the proceedings. And for the enjoyment of all of our graduates and guests this afternoon, please remain seated in the auditorium until the ceremony has finished. The ceremony will now begin. For those of you who are able, please stand for the entrance of the academic procession. awards of the University of Salford. <laughs> Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Vicki Halliwell, Dean of the School of Health Sciences. Pro Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduates and staff. We are here to award and celebrate the success of our students. But first I would like to highlight just a few of the many achievements of the School of Health Sciences in the last year. Our staff are committed to delivering an outstanding student experience. This has been evidenced by fantastic results in the National Student Survey. Six of our programmes achieved 95% or more in the overall satisfaction category, with three of those, podiatry, exercise, nutrition and health, and part-time occupational therapy, receiving 100% satisfaction. We have had a number of staff awards and have the largest number of senior fellows of the Higher Education Academy of any school in the university. Sam Royal, Technician in Psychology, won the Technician of the Year Award from the British Psychological Society and was highly commended in the Registrar's Award this year. 
Three members of podiatry staff, Michelle Cullen, Kath Parnell and Susan Millage, were awarded the Harold Riley Award for community engagement for their work in working with homeless individuals and providing podiatry services. One of our occupational therapy lecturers, Sarah Bodell, received a merit award from the Royal College of Occupational Therapists for her contributions to her profession. And Professor Chris Nestor became the first podiatrist to sit on the 2021 Research Excellence Framework Panel. This is the government system for assessing quality in research across all UK universities. He is appointed to the panel for allied health disciplines and is the sole representative from the university. Our Director of Sport, Exercise and Physiotherapy has established research and clinical services at the Manchester Institute of Health and Performance at the Etihad site, as well as developing and expanding relationships with a range of sports clubs, such as Sail Sharks, with some excellent graduating students being offered roles at the club. We celebrated in the previous ceremony Jodie Handley on the physiotherapy programme, who is the first female graduate through a partnership with the Professional Footballers Association. We have a long history with the PFA, with Roger W. Byrne, a Busby babe, being enrolled on the physiotherapy programme via the PFA in 1954. And we are also awarding Dr. Mark Jarvis with a PhD, and Mark is the Director of Performance Solutions at the English Institute of Sport and was supervised by staff in this school. Three psychology students have won British Psychological Society awards and 10 occupational therapy students through the support of the Salford Advantage Fund attended an international congress in Spain with one of their lecturers, Joanne Webb. The Director of Prosthetics and Orthotics has had success in obtaining £1.4 million worth of Global Challenges funding to provide better upper limb prosthesis for people in lower and middle income countries. Whilst it has been an exciting year for our school, it has also been a year of significant achievements for our university as a whole. And as such, I am very proud to introduce our presiding officer for this ceremony, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Sam Grogan. Mr. Mayor, Madam Mayoress, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to welcome you all to today's graduation ceremony. This year's graduation ceremonies are extra special for us because it is during this academic year that we celebrated our golden year as a university with 50 years of achievements and learning and memories and friendships all made and countless great careers started right here. And it was in this 50th year that I was particularly pleased to see the university grow again and welcome its biggest ever intake of undergraduate students. Over 5,500 new students joined us on campus last autumn, starting their journey to where, towards where you are seated right now, ready to graduate. And so today, it's my pleasure to welcome you, graduates of the School of Health Sciences, who will receive your awards today. And I would also like to warmly welcome your family and your friends, without whom you would not be here. It's a privilege for us all to be able to share in your success in having accomplished so much here during your time at Salford. Your time at university is a pivotal moment in your life. It's a time when you shape your views on the world, when you learn more about yourself, when you develop your skills and knowledge, when you create memories and establish friendships that will stay with you for life. It is a time when you develop intellectually, personally and socially. When I think back to my own university experience, my mind tends to focus not so much on the detail of the experience itself. I actually tend to think more about what's happened in my life because of my time at university. I was the first in my family to ever to go to university and I studied theatre, firstly training as an actor and then as a dancer. I have no idea how I ended up here. This experience, simply put, 
opened up the world for me. Possibilities were positioned as being present. An applied education, learning by doing, enables one to view the world through a dynamic, creative lens. And at the heart of this lens is collaboration and communication, two skills that are essential for your futures and that have really nudged me towards whatever success I've had. Off the back of my first degree, I've managed to have adventures that have taken me across the world to continue to create things with amazing people and to continue to progress where I am today, Pro Vice Chancellor for Student Experience, working alongside these gifted and talented colleagues and working with our students in the pursuit of making a positive difference to the world. I genuinely couldn't ask for anything more from life. If you told me that the skills that I would be picking up by making theatre and dance would one day bring me to work in this fantastic place and lead the institution's teaching and learning and student experience strategy, I would have asked you for a bit of whatever you'd been drinking. But it did, and it has. And that's what university has unlocked for me through the unpredictable twists and turns of the year, possibility and adventure and a lifetime of being a learner and the skills and abilities to keep on developing. And you now, being here today, have demonstrated your skills and your abilities and your drive to be able to receive the awards you're going to today. Life is never straightforward. You can't plan out your career or expect a job for life. But what you can do is grab onto the opportunities you are given and make the most of them. You will all be faced with decisions and challenges as you go forward from today. As you bounce out of here and spread out across the world, you have exciting to careers to begin as you take another step forward on your journey through life. I hope that your time at Salford has equipped you with the skills, capability, knowledge and technical expertise you will need to succeed in your desired pathways and professions. But more than that, I hope you've had exciting and challenging experiences, made new friends, seen and learnt more of the world we live in, and matured through the very process of being at university. It's these experiences, as much as the quality of your core education, that will see you steady in the coming months and years. As individual students, you've had great successes over the past few years, and also together, as a university, we have also accomplished the many things to be proud of. So, for instance, we began this year by climbing 10 places in the Times and the Sunday Times Good University Guide ra rankings. We continued to strengthen our league table positions, climbing 19 places in the Complete University Guide, and the recent published Guardian League table saw the university advance again 11 places, including, I'm particularly proud of this one, a rise of 32 places in student employability. That's certainly great news for the graduates in the room today, and a reflection of the drive and dedication of our students, our teaching, and our support staff. It's also great news that in our golden year as a university, it is in fact our green achievements that have been recognized with a prestigious Eco Campus Award. During your time at university, you will have no doubt watched our campus embark on its transformation into a vibrant, exciting, and green learning environment. And this award, as well as our recently launched Campus Master Plan, reflects our absolute commitment to creating a world-leading learning and living environment for our students, something I am especially proud of. There have also been some great individual achievements for our students this year. For instance, a nomination for the British Film Institute's Want to Watch list for 2018. Three of the university's MA nursing students were awarded the Royal College of Nursing's Margaret Parkinson Scholarship. Two of our law students were crowned winners of the National Mooting Competition, and one of our students studying television and radio at the Media City UK campus down here has won the Leicester Mercury Comedian of the Year. It's quite the range of individual achievements there, but today is about you in this room, now, here. Students from the School of Health Sciences who are graduating today. As you've just heard from your dean, there's a broad range of excellent work going on in the school, from its successes in global challenge funding for prosthetics to one of our very own professors as a leader in his field, 
now sitting on the 2021 Research Excellence Framework Panel for Allied Health Disciplines. This is outstanding work. It's not normal. This is brilliant stuff by the School of Health Sciences, and it represents a few examples of the work being carried out by the university as a whole, by its students, its staff, its partners, and its collaborators. Graduation ceremonies are special for you and special for us, your university. They represent the culmination of your journey as students through your latest stage of learning. They also mark a transition in your Salford journey from today, when you leave this room, you become an alumni of Salford, and as such, you're part of a global community of alumni, making a difference in societies across the globe. And we very much hope that your relationship with your university will continue. Salford will always be your university. I would like to add a personal note of thanks and indeed congratulations to your families and friends who no doubt have supported you and encouraged you and perhaps cajoled you at times throughout your studies and have traveled in some cases huge distance to be with here, us here today. This is a very proud day for them. And of course, none of you would also be here without the efforts of the academic and support staff who provided their knowledge, expertise and guidance to help you achieve what you have done today and realize your full potential. Now, I think this support deserves real recognition. So graduands, could I ask you please to stand and give a round of applause for all the people here and elsewhere who have helped you, inspired you, and encouraged you on the journey to get here today. Thank you very much. Finally then, I would like once more to congratulate everyone who is graduating today and I wish you well for the future. Don't forget, seize the opportunities life gives you, cherish the memories of your time at Salford and please use the skills and knowledge you have gained here to be the very best you can be because the world really needs you right now. Be proud of what you have achieved. Be bold in your aspirations because the future is now yours to make. Thank you very much. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, we will now commence the presentation of the postgraduate awards from the School of Health Sciences, and each student will be presented individually for their award. I would like to invite Dr. Vicky Halliwell, Dean of the School of Health Sciences, to present the Doctor of Philosophy Awards. For a thesis entitled, Aging, Health and Retirement Choices in a Diverse Workforce, a Case Study of a Large Private Sector Retail Organisation, Claire Ellen Edge. For a thesis entitled The Cognitive and Neural Basis of Suicide, Investigating Factors That Help to Identify Individuals at Risk, Elsie Ong.
Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, we will now continue the presentation of the postgraduate awards from the School of Health Sciences, and each student will be presented individually for their award. I would like to invite Helen Matthews, Senior Lecturer in the School of Health Sciences, to present the awards. Pro Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Health Sciences, I present for the award of Master of Science, Advanced Occupational Therapy, Kay Cunliffe. <laughs> Master of Science, Applied Psychology Addictions, Kirsty Louise Bennett. <laughs> Angelo Kindendu. Shane McGeehan. <laughs> Master of Science, Applied Psychology Therapies, Shanine Begley. <laughs> Alice Dillon. <laughs> Rasansara Ranayani Gunasakara. Nusrat Akhtar Haq. <laughs> Omatua Omatara Kufariji. <laughs> Sarah Lambert. <laughs> Mohammed Ozair. <laughs> Master of Science, Media Psychology. Caroline Ann Burney. <laughs> Georgia Mamaletu. <laughs> and Yulia Skurichina. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science Public Health, Umad Ahmed. <laughs> Vicky Brand. Windania Rigby, <laughs> and Mariam Babeu Shehu. <laughs> For the award of postgraduate diploma, Applied Psychology Therapies, Nikki Ann Cohen. <laughs> that concludes the postgraduate awards. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now commence the presentation of the undergraduate awards from the School of Health Sciences. Each student will be presented individually for their award. I would like to again invite Helen Matthews, Senior Lecturer in the School of Health Sciences, to present the awards. Pro Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Health Sciences, I present for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Occupational Therapy, Catherine Elizabeth Allen. Lisa Dawn Avril. Chloe Black. Rebecca Jane Brown. Avita Cohen. Charlene Christophe, <laughs> Stephanie Curran, <laughs> Alexandra Jane Edwards, <laughs> Claire Louise Ferguson, <laughs> Marie Fraser, <laughs> Louise Ann Hickinson, <laughs> Aleri Ann Holmes. Dagmara Harabal. <laughs> Olivia Hughes. <laughs> Nicola Susan Kerridge. <laughs> Violetta Yolanta Kudlinska. <laughs> Sinead Rose Lavery. 
Gronya Madden. Nissi Mary Mamen. Michelle Ailsa Martin. Siobhan McGrade. Colette Monks. Emily Nicholl. Sophie Ann Bradbury Pickard. Liam Andrew Porter. Sarah Alexandra Roberts. Crystal Rogers. Benjamin Baruch Sassoon. Sonita Kaur Sokal. Rebecca Jane Whitaker. Chloe Danielle Witherington. Kay Woods. And Helen Walner. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Psychology, Sarah Adam. Sana Ahmed. Isha Anwar. Rahima Asif Chowdhury. Erin Hannah Barry. Hazira Begum. Sally Ann Booth. Roisin Patricia Brown. Samantha Kate Burgess. Dorcas Luisa Butatala. Meshach Clayton. Bryony Connell. Robin Constantine. Rachel Dowd. Paulina Emilianova. Sureya Farid. Georgia France. Jennifer Goldsmith. Callum Gorman. Courtney Gorst. Emily Grindrod. Ellie Jasmine Gunner. Olivia Harrison. Matthew Hartley. Hannah Haynes. Victoria Elizabeth Healy. Amy Jessica Hollingworth. Kalshay Latanya India Iris. Yasmin Jalivand Nejad. Hannah Jones. Safia Karamat. Zayma Sihar Khan. Anastasia Kraskovate, Holly Lee, Gillian Loney, Mia Makua, Georgia Louise Maron, Nadia Master, Reese Mello. Hannah Muhadeen Mohammed, Rebecca Mosley, Ms. Bar Mumtaz, Laura Mazmichi, Lorna Ann Parks, Jennifer Petrovich. Mia Rifai, <laughs> Natasha Lauren Roebuck, 
Kamal Salim, Katera Sawari, Elizabeth Lee Schofield, Annabelle Sloan, Mira Sonara, Katrina Justine Steele, Kate Stepney, Antonia Louise Sunderland, Louise Warburton, Amy Marie White, Bethany Alice Wilson, Iona Wingfield, Ashley Woodward. Bachelor of Science with Honours, Psychology and Counselling Studies, Raisa Mustak Bana. Jordan Bickerstaff. Ida Emind Borslian. Aisha Jade Campbell Carberry. Gemma Kaur. Blake Delewe, Kirsty Jordan Edge, Emma Louise Forgreave, Nicola Freer, Carla Heden, Paul Anthony Hemming, Nisar Khan, Dominika Kuda, Ikra Latif, Vicky Moran, Emma O'Brien, Kerry Roberts, Rebecca Scott, Emma Skinner, Magdalena Schmush, Charlotte Elizabeth Estonia, <laughs> Hannah Tan. Hannah Walsh for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Psychology and Criminology, Mohammed Adil Khan, Vitotos Bobinas, Louis Burke, Georgina Casali, Rianne Cooper. Sophie Cross, Jessica Lee Cunnington, Paige Charlotte Gorton, Jessica Hargreaves, Megan Hennessy, Patience Sonini Mabena. Muanva Salufa Ngoma Kadoho. Danielle Emma Nicholson. Sophie O'Connor. Fern Porter. Rachel Marie Roper, Bethany Sidaway, Laura Wickstead,
For the award of Bachelor of Science Honours Physiotherapy, Chisholm Miracle Mbata. <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours Psychology and Criminology, Kabela Sura Jaso. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science Honours Psychology, Gregorius Barkas. and King Chan. That concludes the undergraduate awards. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation of the awards from the School of Health Sciences. Before I invite the Pro Vice-Chancellor to close the ceremony, I would like to inform you that we will be taking a group photograph of all of our new graduates outside the theatre on the piazza. Therefore, can I ask all guests to remain in their seats until the graduates have left the theatre. Graduates, can you please follow the academic procession straight out of the theatre to the piazza for the photograph? Thank you. I would now like to invite the Pro Vice-Chancellor to close the ceremony. Back in your seats, we're nearly there. <laughs> before, before I do finally close this ceremony, um, a couple of things. Firstly, can I ask everyone in the room to join me in thanking the staff and the students from the School of Arts and Media who have given us the music, entertainment and fanfare throughout today. Please can we thank them in the time on a fashion please. So, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Salford, I should again like to offer my sincere congratulations to each and every one of our graduates. So, it's now time to ask all graduates to stand as new University of Salford graduates, and please put on your hats. Stand up. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2018, You can sit down now. <laughs> My final job is simply to declare this congregation closed. Thank you very much. May I now ask you to stand for the ceremony. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>